Hi guys, there are times when you want to get all chefy in the kitchen. It might be for that certain someone that you really want to impress and create that love at first bite moment. Well if you do, stick with me, Jack Lucas, and I'm going to show you how to create simple recipes that really wow, but with minimal effort. This is an African inspired harissa sea bass with griddled vegetables and couscous. So first of all, we need to prepare the sea bass. Now, whenever you're buying sea bass, you should look for kind of deep red gills and glossy eyes, and that's sort of real good signs. Also, it shouldn't smell too strong, and ask for it to be scaled and with the guts removed. Now, the masters of filleting fish are the Japanese, and they always use a bit of kitchen towel or a cloth. It's really important that the surface of the skin is dry to prevent your knife from slipping. If you don't want to do it yourself, of course you can go and ask your friendly Sainsbury's fishmongers to do it for you, but it's a great skill to learn to do and it will really impress your mates if you can do it. The first thing we need to do is make an incision just behind the first fin towards the head. After the incision is made towards the head, you want to run your knife along the backbone and right down to the tail. Then, gradually, follow that incision along the bones and you want your knife to be scraping along the bones as you're cutting in. This will make sure that you're not wasting any of that lovely fish. Slice through. This is what you get. You get a whole fillet that's come off quite simply and you shouldn't have any bones in there whatsoever. If you do, don't worry, you can just slice below them. Sea bass is one of those incredible fishes that's quite meaty, but works really well, like monkfish does, with spices and other big, bold flavours. So this is why it's going to be perfect with that harissa paste. Now we can go ahead and chop up some veg. So starting off with our peppers. Now I find the easiest way is just to actually place a pepper down and chop around the centre stalk with all the seeds. Onions, top and tail. Now the courgette, I'm just going to use a potato peeler and just slice into lovely little ribbons which are then going to be griddled at the same time as the peppers. So I'm going to take our lovely chopped up veg, coat it in a little bit of vegetable oil and get stuck in there with your hands. Place these onto a hot griddle pan and cook for a couple of minutes. Now this is going to give a wonderful charred effect to the outside and soft and kind of roasted in flavour on the inside. Just remember that it is very hot so do be careful with your fingers. So whilst the vegetables griddle, it's time to marinate the fish and we're using this harissa. So it's a North African spice blend made up mainly of red peppers and lots of other spices which give it a fantastic smokiness. About half a teaspoon of harissa on each one and massage this into the sea bass and automatically the colour changes and goes to this amazing orange and dark colour and you know that is going to taste fantastic. Place the sea bass onto an oiled tray and pop under a hot grill for four to five minutes just so it's cooked through. Now for the Moroccan couscous, simply pour the contents of the packet out into a bowl and cover with 170 ml of boiling water. Give it a good stir, leave it for five minutes and once that's ready, we're ready to plate up. Job done. The veg is crispy on the outside with little charred bits and our fish is perfectly cooked through. I'm going to top this off with my lovely harissa sea bass. So very gently, prise that off the pan and just place that over our bed of couscous and veg and kind of allow it to flake up a bit. And there we have it. This is a perfect, perfect spicy sea bass with harissa, griddled Mediterranean vegetables and a lovely Moroccan couscous. As a chef's reward, now that you've done all the hard work, it's time to dig in. So, wow, it tastes amazing. It's smoky, it's earthy, but the subtlety of the fish really comes through. This is sure to impress you and your mates. It takes no time at all. It tastes fantastic. If you've enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to subscribe. And to see me take on an incredible passion fruit pot, click here. And for another recipe from Fleur and Mike on the traditional fish and chips, click over here. See you again next time.